to my channel. Shut up, Cody. I broke my tripod again. Sorry, Jacob. So today we're gonna do some more DIYing for you guys because we're back at Cody's house and we haven't finished all of his DIY stuff. But for today's DIY project, we're gonna make all the dogs some stockings. And these ones are cool because we got them from the Dollar Tree and they have iron-on sticker letters here. So you can iron on the name so we don't have to draw them out with our ugly handwriting, right? And then I saw this dog stocking in Ross that had like little dog bones on it that were like little Christmas colors, like the little striped fabric, whatever. So we got these dish towels from the dollar store that have like that buffalo check print. We're gonna cut out little bones so that we can glue them onto these so that they can eat dog stockings. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, but gotta have all your supplies. So what we're gonna use today is, like I said, we're gonna use these little dish towels. Oh, fun. So we're gonna use these little dish towels to make the bones, and then we're gonna use stockings. And then it's good if you have some kind of a pencil or something to just kind of draw out your little bones. So I'm gonna take this out and use this to trace a bone. That's perfect. I'm a genius. All right, babe. These are so fancy. You like those? Yeah. Are so yours? Just trying to see how big of a bone I should make. I gotta hate on my drawing skills. Just cause my bone looks like a bone. See, that's a bone. Okay. No, <laughs> give me that. Make your own bone, fool. I'm gonna make Cody do it himself cause he wants to talk crap about my bone. Mm-hmm, let me trace yours. No. Do your own bone. You wanna talk all kinds of shit. That's what happens. Talk shit, don't get no bone. That's what happens. <laughs> So I'm gonna cut out the bone that I just drew so we can use that kind of as like a template for, yours looks like a penis. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, we have to share scissors, so this is gonna take a little bit. Worst DIYers ever. Beautiful. You wanna show the camera your bone, baby? You gotta come down. Lower now. <laughs> Icky. Cut me out again. So now, have to figure out how to cut a bone. Meat scissors that don't open. There we go. Oh yeah, these are perfect. Look how nice that cuts. Yeah, we do have two pairs of scissors. Those ones suck, don't they? It would have been nice if we could like stick it on here. Terrible paper! <laughs> <laughs> the reveal. Oh god. Guys. <laughs> that does not look like a bone, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. It's fine. So my two bones came out kind of crappy, so I'm gonna have Cody make a big bone for Picasso's. Right now I'm cutting out Ayla's name in the iron-on stickers that they have. Fun fact, guys. When I first got Ayla, her name was almost Layla. But then we were like, we don't like that. And then we made it Ayla. And when I got her, and I adopted her, her name was Aria. So how about that? So Ayla's full name, we've taken out a few last names since she was first adopted, but her new name is Ayla Aria Yeo Solomon Hernandez Murillo. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hot glue my terrible bones to this here. And then I have to figure out how, I don't exactly know how these iron-ons work to be quite honest with you guys. Oh, they got instructions in the back. FYI, if you guys are going to do this same project, maybe go get a better fabric to use, like the scarves that they have, because these leave so much little like white dust ball things. <laughs> I don't know what they are. But I would suggest not getting this. Unless you want to deal with all the little 
lip balls. I'm going to glue this to the stocking. I'm getting ready to do the iron-on part of mine. Cody doesn't have any plain paper, so we're gonna use Ava pictures. <laughs> here's Cody's. Beautiful. <laughs> and here's mine. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing, guys. Sorry, Ava. You think it'll do anything with ink on it? I don't know. You put your iron onto the wool setting and you hold it down for 90 seconds, it says. This is actually kind of scary, guys. I'm not going to lie. Two hours later. <laughs> Should I test it? Yeah, sure. I was in a county, so... Janky. <laughs> Dollar store, guys. It looks so bad. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth for you guys. I did not know this was going to be green. <laughs> And I also didn't realize that I had spaced her L and A out so far. <laughs> God, these look terrible. I'm honestly probably just gonna buy <laughs> stockings. Should I even try to make it better with glitter? You think it's just gonna make it worse? I mean, you can't make it much worse. Poor Shmo Shmela. Yeah, guys, I honestly might just buy Ayla a stocking because this is terrible. attempted to make this better with glitter and I think I just made it worse <laughs> I mean digging this part this looks cute the letters gotta go it looks terrible guys DIY fail we're gonna see how Cody's turns out look how good it came out wait can you, can you see that yeah did you not glue your bone yet no no oh. <laughs> that's what I was holding it Okay guys, well I had you guys away. I made Picasso's and his actually came out so cute. So now I'm jealous because I feel like Ayla needs to have a super cute one as well. So I felt like the thing that I hated the most on Ayla's was her name. So I actually took the top off of another stocking. Good thing we had an extra one, see? I'm gonna just replace this and redo Ayla's name and then I think I'll feel better about Ayla stocking. But yeah, let's do it. So what I'm doing to take off the sewing that's on here is just taking a cuticle cutter because I don't have a seam ripper with me, but that's okay. And we're just gonna do this and just keep pulling and get it. Shows. Ooh, I painted over the letters with paint and then I painted the little edge of the bone with paint and it looks amazing. Okay, we decided we wanted to spruce up these stockings so we're actually just hot gluing some of the little pieces that we had from the last DIY we did onto their stockings just to make them look a little bit cuter and less dollar store looking. <laughs> I redid Ayla's, so I now I just have to give her a name again, and then I glued on this big guy here for Ayla, and Picasso gets a tiny one because he's little. And so it's the same thing that we did for the tree that you guys saw. We're literally just hot gluing these pieces together. So we have something cute for the doggies. All 
right, round two. Okay guys, so we finally finished our stockings. You wanna show ponchos? Oh, I feel like the better one should go last. Anyways, here's Picasso's stocking. Mm -hmm. Very fitting for Picasso because he's just a little tiny stupid. Let me get a close up on this actually. Not too close because then you guys will see where I messed up. But we just glued on some of these little extra pieces of like holly berry and leaves that we had. His has one bone and it says Picasso. So there's his. Then we have Ayla's. Ooh, hers is kind of heavy because I glued on a big one up here. But here's Ayla's. Ayla's has two bones. I put this big old giant thing in here. Up here I glued in some of this white and then these gold holly berries. And then I just threw on some down here. Don't mind Ayla's name, I kind of messed it up. But <laughs> there's Ayla's. And here's Poncho's. It's got the gold and the red holly berries with the painted name, and the painted bone, and that stuff. Ooh, beautiful, the best. If you guys enjoyed us DIYing some stockings for the dogs, please give this video a huge thumbs up because it really does mean a lot and it helps us out and it'll get us views for the Christmas time. Woo, 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 woo. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you can see all the videos that come out, especially for this holiday season. If you have not already, click the notification bell to be alerted anytime that I post a new video. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.